Here comes Raquel Welch. Now she comes with her fur coat, and I'm just snapping away at her. And there comes Yoko Ono. And I gotta do that right then. And there's Calvin Klein over there, and I gotta get over to Calvin. Quickly do this. Uh, got him now. Oh, there's oh, Don Johnson. And here we are at the gates of the cathedral and where everybody was standing, the big crowds were all over. There was Klaus von Bülow. There's Klaus, you know, oh my God, there's so-and-so. And I had the VIP pass from Vanity Fair to walk around where I wanted to, while the gates were all locked up, all the other people were blocked in. But I had the liberty to do that. And here comes Deborah Harry with Steven Sprouse. Oh, the, Steve Rubel from Studio 54, Neon Schrager. They came from the left, he came from the right. And then I took that fabulous shot which was the cover of the book. It was right here with limos. And you had the whole cathedral and with all the limousines lined up in the crowds. It was a very exciting day. It went by so quickly. Photographing that day was probably one of the most difficult situations I've ever been to. It was a sea of stars coming in. The idea of photographing that, that day was you have to also capsulate the image. You have to compose it. You have to spend the two seconds, you have to predict in advance how the people are going to move, where they're coming from. Back in uh, 1987, I got a phone call from Vanity Fair. They called me up, they would like me to shoot a fashion story on Andy Warhol's memorial and capture some of the celebrities that were there. So I was all very excited. I was wondering why they picked me, and then I realized the reason they picked me is because I knew the variety of different people Andy knew, and I could pick them out on anywhere, and I knew most of them. It was a great honor for me to do that. And then I said, okay, I can't wait till the pictures come out at, uh, at Vanity Fair. So I call up, and they said, well, we're just holding them back now, because we really want to do a fashion story on mini skirts, because Stephen Sprouse reintroduced the mini, and it didn't really take off. Um, so they decided not to run the story. So I said, oh shit, all right. So I sat on it for a couple of years and I said, why don't I make a tribute to Andy Warhol? So we got that organized. Then I said, okay, now I got this, I got photographs, I'm gonna make this, and I put this together and I'm gonna make a dummy book and go to see publishers. So I had a little cocktail party on my loft downtown on 10th Street and a man, Charlie Shipes, came in with a few other friends. And they said, what are these big boxes doing on your table? Oh, that's a project, I'm gonna put it away. It was a project I was hoping to do a book on Andy Warhol as a tribute to Andy from all his friends and myself and everything. He said, well, let me see that. So he takes it and he starts going crazy. Look at this, wow, you got these letters. This is history, this is so important. This is something that, this is one of the most important uh, events that happened in the art world, in pop art, especially in the 20th century. I can't believe it. We had an important book on the history uh, of, this, of this event. And then I had shows. I made huge ex exhibitions in Europe uh, and here. And it sold very well in Europe. And this way, everybody has also a piece of history while, after Andy. It's sort of the last thing you can buy of Andy Warhol is this memorial service. For me, it was like going to a cocktail party that lasted about 25 years and you couldn't find the exit sign. And finally I found it, so I was really happy it was over. However, it was really sad that this momentum and artistic inspiration and, 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 and this era is over. Uh, it, it was a, a special time. It was really a special time and, uh, and I don't think we'll ever go back to that again. Neither will we go back to the 30s in Paris, neither will we go back to the Edwardian age or the Belle Epoque. However, to live in, in New York, at that particular time was, it was more than an honor, it was, it was a time to be alive. <laughs>